Hello everyone, this is Lina again. Thank you for watching and stay tuned with Dental 101. Today we have for you uh, the identification of the instruments that you are going to use for your restorative tasks. In previous videos we have seen that we are going to have some instruments on our bracket table and we are also going to have some instruments in our trolley. So this cassette that you are seeing right now here is the cassette that is going to contain the restorative instruments that you are going to use for your tasks. This cassette is going to be on top of the trolley next to your working station. So if we open the cassette, remember that this cassette should be always closed. When we are going to use the instruments, we are going to open the cassette and here you are going to see all the instruments that you are going to be provided during the exam. We are going to take a look into each instrument to revise uh, the form, the shape and the uses for these instruments so we can tackle all our tasks in a better manner. Okay guys, so now taking a closer look to each instrument, here we have the Mortenson plugger. This is a double-ended instrument and it's basically used for condense uh, any amalgam or any other restorative material such as composite. Now we have the wheel and carver which is basically used for adapting interproximal uh, surfaces for our even amalgam or composite so you can decide if you are having any kind of overhangs or excess during your composite or amalgam, the wheel and carpet is going to help you reach those places and that are kind of difficult to reach with other instruments. Okay guys, here we have the condenser amalgam or the amalgam plugger. This one is just specifically for amalgams, unlike like the Mortenson plugger that you can use for composite and amalgams as well. This one is just for a metallic fillings such as amalgam. As you can see, the working end has this little grid pattern that is going to help you condense your amalgam quite well. Now we have the Hollenbach carver, which is basically used for carve the occlusal anatomy of the amalgams. And sometimes you can even reach the interproximal spaces with this one while you are carving your amalgam as well. This one is the composite carver. Sometimes you can find this in the market as interproximal composite carver. It is very useful for the interproximal surfaces of the composite. It's not going to get stick to your uh, material and it's very long and thin as you can see here. So you can reach all those difficult places. Here we have the bolt burnisher. You know that you have two working ends. One, the bowl is going to be longer or bigger than the other one. The use of the bulb burnisher is to ensure that the margins of the amalgam are adapting quite well. Also, you can use this one to smooth the amalgam after you have condensed the amalgam. And remember that we also use the bulb burnisher when we are placing our matrix band, so we can uh, contour our matrix band in the interproximal surface. Now we have the flat plastic. Uh, usually this uh, instrument we use it to carry the composite material to the cavity preparation and also you can use it to carve the anatomy of your composite if you feel that this uh, instrument is going to suit you better for that purpose. Now we have the excavator spoon. I think this instrument is very well known amongst uh, our, our industry. Basically this instrument is used to remove decay or pathologic tissue. In this case, for us as dentists, uh, probably decay, uh, removing the soft decay is a, a well-known use for this instrument as well. But you can also use this one to start carving the anatomy of your amalgam if you feel that this is going to help you in that task. This instrument is the endoprobe. Uh, it has also two working ends. Both of them are pretty much the same. It is angulated, like you can see here because it's going to help you localize the canals uh, when you are doing an endo access or an endo opening and also it's going to help you to check the straight line entering to the canals when you are doing the task for the endo access. This instrument that we have here is not uh, from the beginning in your restorative uh, cassette. You need to ask for this in the common bay. They, also, they, they only have a few enamel hatches available during the exam. But these instruments, you are going to be quite familiar with this one because you are going to use it basically to remove the unsupported enamel that you need to remove most likely in the carious teeth task. And basically, it helps you accentuate the line 
and the point angles of that internal surface of the proximal box. Okay guys, this, this was uh, basically the identification for your restorative instruments. I hope this is useful for you guys during your preparation. Remember, if you have any doubts, please be, feel free to contact us at Dental 101 and stay tuned in order to see more videos upcoming. Thank you.